Luther Martin is a prominent figure in American legal history, best known for his role as the defense lawyer for Supreme Court Justice Samuel Chase during his impeachment trial. Chase was accused of engaging in arbitrary and oppressive conduct on the bench, and Martin's vigorous defense of him made a lasting impression. In addition to his defense of Samuel Chase, Luther Martin gained recognition for representing Aaron Burr during his treason trial. Burr, a former vice president of the United States, was accused of plotting to establish an independent country in the western part of North America. Martin's involvement in this high-profile case further solidified his reputation as a skilled and formidable lawyer. Luther Martin's legal career also included arguing the losing side in the landmark case of McCulloch v. Maryland. This case, which centered on the constitutionality of the Second Bank of the United States, was a significant moment in the development of American constitutional law. Although Martin's arguments did not prevail, his participation in this important case showcased his intellectual prowess and legal acumen. Beyond his high-profile legal cases, Luther Martin was known for his strong advocacy for states' rights and his opposition to a strong central government. He was a staunch anti-federalist, expressing concerns about the potential for federal encroachment on individual liberties. Martin's views and arguments contributed to the ongoing debate about the balance of power between the federal government and the states. In his later years, Luther Martin became a vocal critic of the United States Constitution and refused to sign it during the Constitutional Convention. He believed that the document did not adequately protect the rights of individual citizens and feared that it would lead to an overly powerful federal government. Martin's principled stance against the Constitution reflected his unwavering commitment to safeguarding the rights of the people.